Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna go through my skincare routine. I feel like I want to share my skincare routine with you because what I've been using for the last like six months or something has really changed my skin. And I'm gonna insert some pictures for you how my skin looked when I started doing this skincare routine. And I've tried so many different products before I decided to do this. And this is the one thing or the things that has made my skin clear up so much. So for the sake of the video, I'm not wearing any makeup except my brows and some mascara but nothing on my skin. When I leave the house, I'm leaving without no makeup on, which is crazy for me because I was so insecure about my skin. I hated the way my skin looked. I had a lot of acne. I mean, my entire face was not filled with acne, but I had some acne problems and I wasn't proud of my skin. I did not feel comfortable walking outside with my skin looking like what it looked like. So my skin type is combination skin with some acne prone skin as well in it. So yeah, the problem was that I used skincare that was too harsh on me. Like my skin could not handle the skincare I used. It's good skincare. I had a lot of good products but they did not work for me. Just sometimes I feel like it made them worse. And yeah, I'm now very happy with my skincare routine. I do not have very expensive products. I have mostly, like, not drugstore, but it's worthy of the price. It's not crazy up there high-end skincare. It's more, like, easier for you to get. I have some different products from different brands. And I'm just gonna show you everything. So I feel like I'm going to go from what I do in the morning to evening and then also everything in between. So yeah, let's get into it. So in the morning, the first thing I always do, this one is almost completely empty right now. So I need to run and get a new one because I don't want to change up my skincare routine. This is the cleansing clay for normal to oily skin. This is from a brand... I think this is a Swedish brand. I'm not sure if you can get this anywhere else. And it has some castor oil and also other oils that helps cleanse the skin. This is from the brand Maria Orkabai, I think it's called. It's so it's Deep Skin Organics. This is what the bottle looks like. It's just white. I take this and I apply it on my dry skin and use this as a cleanser. I apply it all over, kind of like in circular motions all over my skin then I cleanse it off with water and then I'm cleansed for the morning so this one is a lot harsher than the cleanser I'm using at night time so I'm never using this one to remove makeup I use this on clean skin in the morning dry clean skin and it has worked wonders it's kind of harsh one it feels that it's working on your skin the white clay takes away all the excess oils and all the dirt in your skin so this one has helped me a lot, but I need to get a new one. After I cleanse in the morning, I put on moisturizer and then I'm like ready to go. So this is the Confidence in a Cream by It Cosmetics and this one has saved my skin so much. This is for all skin types and as I told you before, I am combination skin. So I have some dry patches, I have some oils in my T-zone and I also am acne prone. So this one works perfectly for me since it's for all skin types. So it has some anti-aging armor in it. The only thing I'm missing is that it doesn't have any SPF. So whenever I'm using this in the daytime, I have to apply like another thing to put some SPF on if it's sunny outside or if I'm on vacation or anything. I'm almost out of this one. I have a backup one and this is my second big one. This is what it looks like. It's just small. It's a cream. As you can see, I'm almost out of it. You don't need much to cover your entire face and I just love it. It's a super cream. Another kind of lotion product, this is a face balm. This is from the same brand as my cleansing clay. This is from Maria Okerberg, Deep Skin Organics. And this is a face balm clearing. So this is a face balm for oily 
like normal to oily skin and I used this one during winter like when I was on a ski trip the air was so cold it's very harsh on your skin to be out in that kind of a cold so I used this one on my dry patches not all over my skin because it would be too thick but I used this balm on my dry patches and it worked for me it did not break me out and it's just it's too thick for me to use like an all over face moisturizer but during the winter on my dry patch just like around my mouth or on my cheeks I will use this this is what the balm looks like as you can see it's very thick it's like not even a cream it's more of a thicker balm but it moisturizes so well and it kind of melts into your skin like an oil and it smells so good so I guess moving on to my problem I have acne problem as I told you before so I have used different things I have had the Mario Berdescu you know the like pimple clay or something you put your q-tip in the pink clay and then you put it on your pimples overnight and it dries it out that one works very good. I now use the Body Shop Tea Tree Oil. This is a very small bottle, but this is like pure tea tree oil. It's not 100% tea tree oil, it's 1.9% tea tree oil. And you dip your Q tip into this and put it on your pimples. I do this before I go to bed and it dries them out, makes them disappear, makes them smaller, makes them go away. So I just love this. It's harsh so I'm not using this all over my skin I'm just using this right above and on my pimples but it is a good alternative for you who feel like you need something on your pimples to make them go away something that is kind of the same thing but still totally different this is the tea tree water so this is from Lush I don't know if I told you but this tea tree oil is from the body shop and this is from Lush so this is the tea tree water toner water and this one is to help problem skin and this is more of a toner you can put it on a cotton pad and put it all over your face or just spray it right onto your face I use this one whenever I don't feel like I have one big pimple but I have like small bumps all over my face I'm putting this one on before I go to bed and it works so good it's the same like this but this is more of a water toner all over your face thing I would never put this all over my face it's too harsh but this one is a lot nicer to your skin and I have sensitive skin sometimes, but I've never had a reaction to neither of these, so. I mean, you can use both of them. They are both kind of affordable. It's not very, very expensive. And they both worked very nice for my skin. So I have been a lover of face masks for so long. I love applying face masks having like my own spa at home i just i love it so much but i've tried to keep myself calm not to use too much of face masks because my skin reacts to some of them so i have found two that i use on a day when i feel like my skin needs a boost and a fix so this is like step one and step two so these are both from the body shop this first one that i would call the step one is the cleanser one this is the himalayan charcoal purifying glow mask and this is from the body shop as i said so this is basically a charcoal mask i think it had some ingredients on like the box but it is basically charcoal it has some tea tree oil in it as well this is what the mask looks like it is basically just a charcoal mask that you put all over your face or whenever you feel like you have a problem area and then I let it dry and then I kind of exfoliate it off like I scrub it off to exfoliate my skin so whenever I feel like I'm gonna wash this off I do it in circular motions kind of exfoliating my skin so you get two in one you get a mask and also something to exfoliate your skin and I feel like this has saved my skin as well as all the other products but this is kind of new to me I had all of the other products and then I don't feel like I had a mask to go with it 
So I went into the body shop. I know that I wanted to try this line so much. I talked to the girl who worked and I told her what my skin had for problems and what I feel like I needed to fix and what I felt like worked for me. So we got the other duo together. So this is the Timeline Charcoal Mask and also the step two I got is the British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask. And this one, oh my, I love this one so much. I put this on right after I washed this one off and this one just feels like it's so hydrating and so fresh. I honestly don't know if you guys can tell but it is kind of a jelly consistency so it is like a gel it is so moisturizing and again the best thing about it is how it smells it's not the best thing but I feel so rosy so fresh and everything whenever I wear this so I recommend this mix. If you have acne prone skin but you still have dry patches so you need something to moisturize when you're done with the face mask then buy the rose mask as well. So I got them together and I love the combo of these two. So for cleanser at night whenever I want to wash my makeup off or whenever I just want to wash my face before I go to sleep I'm not using the cleansing clay because this is too harsh on my skin and I don't want to put my skin into that much of a work so I'm using something a lot more gentle a lot more hydrating and this I feel like is a celebrity on YouTube sometimes this is the purity made simple one step facial cleanser and I'm sure you have all seen or heard about this one my skin feels so fresh whenever I wash my skin with this one it cleanses it but it still doesn't dry it out so it makes my skin feel hydrated but still cleansed enough so I can feel like I'm clean in a way and yeah I basically just love this it makes my skin feel clean but not dried out so for night cream I'm not using anything new I'm using the same cream as I do in the morning I'm using the confidence in a cream I don't feel like I want to switch it up too much like using different products will make my skin be confused I feel like my skin needs to have one thing going on the entire time so I'm using the confidence in a cream both morning and evening and my skin loves it so I'm not complaining I'm not gonna buy a expensive night cream just because it said night on it so no I'm just using the confidence in a cream both morning and night I guess that's all for my skincare, at least that's all I'm using and I hope this has helped you in any way. I'm so happy that my skin cleared up this much and that I feel so confident that I can even sit in front of camera without any makeup on. So yeah, thank you so much for taking your time and watching this video today. I hope I helped at least one person finding something that might work for you. And please let me know if you've tried anything that you think would work for me for acne prone skin that is kind of sensitive and also combination. So yeah, once again, thank you for watching. If you like this kind of videos and you want to keep watching me do these videos, then please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment or something nice. I will see you in my next one. Bye!